In this video, we are going to talk about 10 mistakes everyone makes when building their own tiny house. It's inevitable that mistakes will be made during the construction process, especially because most DIYers have no prior experience. Furthermore, the tiny house movement is still in its early stages. What matters is that you learn from your errors. We've identified some frequent DIY building blunders throughout the years of assisting others in their successful transition to the tiny home lifestyle. Here are 10 mistakes everyone makes when building their own tiny house. So let's start. Number 10. Overlooking headers. When building your small house, keep in mind that you'll need to leave a gap in your support framework to accommodate your windows and doors. Imagine a good, robust wall with a hole in it. Isn't it terrifying? You're reducing its structural integrity in some way, and you'll need to find a solution to balance the weight. This is why you should always include headers. Some inexperienced tiny home builders overlook the importance of a header, and their structures suffer as a result. These complications can be disastrous, resulting in major delays, additional cost, and heartbreak. Number 9. Going beyond the trailer width, unintentionally. Beginner tiny home builders frequently have great layout and storage ideas. Wanting to maximize everything typically leads to issues like improper weight distribution and exceeding legal width restrictions. Trailer's maximum authorized road width is 102. So ordinary small home trailers are just 90 since you must still consider your walls and their added width. Most overlook the siding, sheathing, drip edge, roof overhang, and so on. Once installed, it's easy to go over. Adjusting after construction causes inconvenient early improvements. Building a wider tiny home is becoming more fashionable. Keep in mind that this is not suited for frequent moves or wide load permits. For these reasons, you should make your parking more secure parking underneath is riskier. Number 8. Assuming building a tiny house is cheap. While price is an important component of the tiny living fad, it should not be the only one. Compared to buying one from a tiny house builder, DIY constructing saves the most money. Unfortunately, DIYers have to save more money. If you don't have enough money up front, you can develop as you can afford it, but this dramatically prolongs the build period. Buying reused and salvaged materials takes time and effort, but it might save you thousands. In some parts of your home, you should not cut corners. For example, your trailer is worthwhile. A handmade small home trailer is the fastest and most reliable way to get started. This can cost up to $9,000 depending on your home size. Do you intend to repurpose an old trailer? Of course, you must examine the tiny home's general design. Also, many vintage trailers cannot support a little dwelling. So, initially, you'll need to improve the trailer. Ultimately, the time and money needed to make it function are probably wasted. It's important to have a realistic idea of the price. Do you have an estimate? Please share it in the comments so we can learn from each other. Number 7. Using too many heavy materials. While many tiny home experts recommend utilizing primarily standard building materials, some parts must be customized for a mobile basis. Also, avoid using too many tiles. Consider lighter tiles that look like hardwood. Tar shingles are also out because they are too heavy for your trailer and don't hold up well on the highway. A roofing contractor in Manchester, NJ can assist you get the best materials for your little house. This illustrates a good rule of thumb, ask for help. Also, don't feel awful about outsourcing out more difficult tasks like rafter hanging or electricity. While it's feasible to utilize heavy materials in your tiny house, keep in mind the total weight of all your materials, appliances, and holding tanks. Tiny house plans usually come with an estimated dry weight, excludes your stuff and fluids, like propane or water-filled tank. If you deviate from the prescribed materials, your tiny house's overall weight may increase. It may be fine if you use lighter materials. You do not want to exceed your trailer's weight capacity. Use a steel frame to save thousands. Number 6. Building without a plan. This is an inexcusable error. No one should ever attempt to construct a home without first devising a strategy. 
Always keep in mind that good planning leads to better results. A lack of it, on the other hand, will result in unexpected costs and wasted time. Once you have a design, you can rest assured that you will be able to construct your home from the ground up without difficulty, and that you will be able to predict issues ahead of time. You'd also be able to plan your timetable, so that you can balance your life and get other things done while creating your tiny dream home. Take our recommendation, quadruple the amount of time you believe you'll need to finish your project. In the best case scenario, you complete the project ahead of schedule. Invest in a set of tried and true tiny house blueprints. Dimensions, materials, and other details are all included in the plans. You may always make changes to better fit your needs or include new storage concepts, as we did. Are you looking for plans that are absolutely unique? You can have it drawn out by a designer, architect, or engineer. Alternatively, you may simply look through all of the available tiny house plans and pick the ones that best suit your needs, or you can have someone customize it for you. Number 5. No Moisture Mitigation. Once again, Craig's second stated mistake, this time in the area of moisture mitigation this is by far the most difficult problem that tiny homeowners have to deal with. Showers, cooking, perspiration, and breathing all contribute to the production of moisture. If you've constructed a well-ventilated box, all of the moisture will remain inside. Proper ventilation, heating, and cooling should be included in the design to prevent poor air quality and mold growth. A common blunder is failing to recognize that tiny houses require all of the infrastructure of a large house, only on a smaller scale. Number 4. Using the wrong trailer. When it comes to building a tiny home, the biggest and most costly error you can make is choosing the wrong trailer. As much as I understand that we are all striving to build as affordably as possible, skimping on the trailer will destroy your project from the get-go. Number 3. Ignoring zoning laws and building codes. Making the folly of assuming you can fly under the radar and dodge the man is a significant mistake. You must conform to all applicable zoning and construction rules in your location. On your own property, officials have the authority to restrict your freedom of movement. Being proactive in your interactions with code and zoning officials will help you avoid future complications. Tiny houses are becoming more frequent as building standards evolve to suit them. For example, take a look at Appendix Q. Now that there are building codes in existence, you must conform to the regulations. Learn about the required ceiling height for lofts, the construction of stairs, and the location of required egress points. If you ever decide to sell your modest home, you'll be glad you followed the requirements of the building laws to the letter. Number 2. Living Room Comfort Bench seats are helpful for storing items and hiding a wheel well, but they are extremely unpleasant. Make sure your living room is inviting enough to spend a rainy afternoon there or to see a full-length film with all of your guests. On this, we can learn a lot from the RV sector. The way to go is with comfortable recliners and fold-out sofas. Consider your furniture alternatives throughout the design phase of your small house project to ensure that you have enough space for the comfort you'll require. Buy excellent mattresses for your beds and the best cushions for any jackknife couches or other convertible furniture while you're at it. Number 1. No power reason to go tiny. A little house is a great tool for achieving a goal. So, think about what you want out of life and how a tiny house can help you achieve it. This is the important thing. Such as what kind of lifestyle you desire and your goals. The majority of individuals spend their lives working to pay off their mortgage, heat their home, and fill it with things. You can turn this situation around with a little dwelling. Rather than living for your house, your house assists you in living. So, figure out what you want out of life. Is it to travel around the globe? How about becoming a frugal millionaire? Do you work a 10-hour week? Do you want to learn 101 different hobbies? You're more likely to try living tiny and stop if you don't have a compelling cause for doing so. Living in a small space has benefits and drawbacks, and the benefits must outweigh the drawbacks. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.